Warning, this show contains graphic images and content. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, horror fans. This episode, we actually go out of the studio and go to our first ever horror festival. What are we doing, Danny? Going to Tat Horcon. Woo! Ah! Woo! Hello, horror fans. We are at the Tattoo Arts and Horror Festival in Tinley Park. We started off the night with not only what we believed to be a bunny vagina, but also a woman dancing with fire. There was a lot of sideshow performance as well as a costume contest and a Miss Tattoo pageant. After some walking around, we caught up with Andy McKenzie and talked about his new movie, Sushi Girl. Well, I'm here with uh, Andy McKenzie, and uh, Andy has a uh, new movie. But uh, we want to talk about Sushi Girl. You can tell us a little bit about it. Sushi Girl. If you're a fan of Quentin Tarantino, this is like the new Reservoir Dogs. That's what it is. It's a nasty gangster flick, grindhouse, a lot. A lot of nasty, a little bloody, a little torturous. So, in this, yeah, I mean, honestly, in this movie, just imagine you walk into a room, you've got Candyman, Luke Skywalker, Frank the Bunny from Donnie Darko, Atreyu from The Never Ending Story, Jeff Bain, Michael Bean, Danny Trejo, Sonny Chiba. I mean, this is like, it's an iconic cast. Things just seem to <laughs> Diamond Ice Dog, wrong, really, really wrong. With, with you and, and all the, the oh yeah, name I'm, in it, I'm in it too. With, with you and all the name dropping, I pretty much think that you sold this to anybody that that watches this. I hope so. So I don't know. You you sold it with me just pointing out everybody. So uh, I'm, I know I'm gonna buy a copy. So go ahead and check out the movie. Buy it. Uh, you got a website or anything that anybody can actually. Like, this one, uh, you know, it's on it's on Amazon. It's on it's everywhere. There you go. But I'm, I'm not gonna wait. I'm gonna go ahead and buy the Blu-ray right now. You got it. Plus we got some extra uh, special features on there too. Easter eggs. Uh, you know, you Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill was in the uh, Joe, Joe and Bob's like back yeah. and uh, yeah. the cop cop. Yeah. <laughs> if you can find the Easter egg on the Sushi Girl Blu-ray or DVD, there's uh, there's one where we actually surprised Mark with his big cock knob fist. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he could have just sold it with that. He could have just said that one yeah. thing and well, I would I would I would have bought it just for that. You and your sidekick are finally in the grasp of <laughs> Well thank you very much, Ash awesome, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. Also if anybody has a After our interview we decided to talk to a few others. Like young Jenny from Forrest Gump. Not one, but two leather faces. The most lovable zombie you'll ever meet, and Mr. Boogie from Sinister. After we watched a screening of Truth or Dare, we stumbled on a suspension act and then caught up with Jessica Cameron and Heather Dwarf. Directing and writing project, right? right? Yep. How was like that transition from actress to the It was like, fucking brutal. Yeah. <laughs> I don't recommend it. Uh, no, uh, so I co write it, which is a fancy way of saying I, I contributed a few ideas to Jonathan Higgins writing the script. Okay. Realistic. Uh, I can't say I, I, I saw a real co writing where I don't even understand like script format or Final Cut. I would be lost. If you gave me a laptop with Final Cut, I'd be like, what? Yeah, I don't speak Spanish. Like, what are you doing here? Um, so he really did a lot of the heavy lifting, and I just sort of contributed my input. So that was the easy part. I never directed, I never wanted to direct, but I've been on enough sets where I've seen what works and what doesn't, uh, more of what doesn't, and uh, that's really what sort of shows me like how to do it and how not to do it. So then from there, I just sort of made sure I had like the best GP I could afford, the best gaffer, the best sound guy to make sure that everything else was going as smoothly as possible. So, so uh, you, I mean, you said that it was just 
chaotic and stuff like that. But do you actually like the, the director's chair? One more. You know what? Here's the thing. I don't like it as much as I like acting and producing in that order. But it is a third, and I prefer it over a day job. And it's so funny because, like, I very publicly said, never again. It's my only yes, time. Because here's the thing. It's not as much fun as acting or producing. It's not. As an actor, I always use this analogy. So as a director, if the call time is 8, I'm up at 5 a.m. I'm reviewing the shot list. I'm seeing what can be cut, what can be fixed. Do we have all the props in line? As an actor, if the call time is 8 o'clock, you show up at, like, 8 o'clock. Uh, mm. Somebody escorts you to the makeup chair. Somebody hands you your clothing fresh with press. You know, somebody does your hair and makeup while somebody else brings yeah. you coffee and they give you food. Yeah. They tell you how wonderful That's you are. Amazing. Good job. Yeah. They escort you back, yeah. they escort you back to air conditioning. As a director, That's there's no way. Nobody cares how you look. Nobody dressing and washing your clothing. There's no hair Sophia? and makeup. Nobody's telling you Sophia. how beautiful Sophia. you look. Sophia. You know how amazing Sophia. that was. Because you're the one saying how amazing everyone else is. Lovely. It's just not as much fun. Yeah. It's a lot more work, a lot more stress and less accolades. So that being said, I have very Still positive Still time to enter the tattoo competition. Right. Saying Go that see Shane and guess. register. But we all have a price. Andy McKenzie, and the tattoo competition is off limits to celebrities. And as much as I would say I'll never do it again, I know that at some point somebody's going to hit me with the right project, the right price. And I'm a sucker for a good story, so there's some uh, stories that should be told. Okay. And if I can't find the right person to help me tell it, but not because you're a celebrity, but because you're a red Right, and uh, last thing, can you maybe say anything about the next one? Yes, somebody survives, and when Derek realizes that there's people alive, he has to finish the game. Uh, so the game will take place hopefully in an insane asylum. Oh! Yes. Because the only fun. thing more fucked up than the first truth or dare <laughs> is doing something even worse with crazy people, <laughs> right? That's how you ever, like, how do you top it? I was like, trust me. My mind, <laughs> you'll figure it out. It's already done. Yeah. The trick is how do I try to bring Doris back as a different character that offended the audience? <laughs> yeah. I was just, I was actually wondering if you were coming back, maybe as a different character altogether. Oh, you have to be like something, she's as dead something. as dead can be. Like, yeah. like, spoiler. But you know, maybe like she just yeah. written in there, just completely just different. I have to pull like an American Mary Tristan risk where they yeah. did like a full facial prosthetic. Oh my god, <laughs> I can already see this happening. Thank you. Now you're hey. full prosthetic. We're That's all fun. excited now. We're all excited. Sounds amazing. <laughs> I will say, I, I do, we do have another project that is fairly early stages of development that is going to be um, effectively, I've gotten a lot of accolades on the pacing of the story, which I think is really fantastic. And it kind of comes from my love of films okay. and not liking how a lot of films are paced. So uh, I really want to do a scary film with the same pace and truth in there, like a haunted scary. Okay. So I, I'm coming up right now with All right, if you want to see, catch the yeah, last the screening of the oh. sushi. <laughs> the last screening of sushi. No, 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 no. It's going to start in five door. minutes. Yes. Five minutes? Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Heather. Thank you so very much. And if you're interested to find out more about Truth or Dare, you can check us out online on Facebook and Twitter. It's the Jessica Cameron Truth or Dare film. And you can pre-order from our website, truthordarethemovie.com. That's amazing. Yeah. There, there you go. go. And that's our show. Go ahead and like us on Facebook, find us on Twitter, email us at theonlygenre at gmail.com. Also check out our website, theonlygenre.com. Uh, for more information on Sushi Girl and Truth or Dare, uh, go ahead and check out the description below. Be sure to check out the reviews on Sushi Girl and Truth or Dare that should be uh, showing up on the website here soon. Thank you very much for consuming our brains. <laughs> okay, so the next one is kind of going to take off upon where the first one ended. I will let you know that Can we have Noah, Young Gung King, and Pomish <laughs> to the stage, please? <laughs> Noah, yes, Noah, Young Gung King, Pomish to the stage, please. There's somebody that needs. They to are very you. loud Noah. here. Just saying. Young Why do they call you Cockknocker? Actually, there's a funny story behind that. <laughs> You're gonna love this. True story.